who also the countries uh, Qatar and Kuwait, they've been engaging the Iranians for a long time. And these countries in the past, these smaller GCC states, have even tried to be a diplomatic bridge between the Saudis and the, the Iranians. So if anything, I think we could maybe say that the Saudis are starting to more move in the direction of some of their GCC neighbors rather than the other way around. So what we're seeing essentially is I think what the former Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif has said, that uh, the region can't afford to have two big beasts facing up to each other. Yeah, and I think it's also important to keep in mind that toward the end of Obama's like presidency, peace, he once said that the Saudis and Iranians are going to need a to find ways to share the region. At the time, many in Saudi Arabia took a lot of offense to that remark made by Obama. But I think right now, there's a growing realization in Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern countries that what Obama said was actually completely correct. And that these two countries, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Islamic Republic of Iran, are going to be permanent neighbors. And while it would be naive to imagine them overcoming all of their tensions, it's not so naive to imagine them finding a new balance in which they need to respect 